What is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I'm going to be talking about the Doubles playlist and this is an excellent location to refine your skills in coordinating with a team. So you're going to be placed in this uh, sort of environment where you have to work together even if you're solo queuing you have to be looking at what your teammate is doing and complementing it. Now I will say that the footage that I'm pulling all this information from is hours and hours long. So I'm actually going to do a part one and a part two. Part one is just going to break down some of the basic strats. And part two I'm going to show you some of the big plays because this playlist is sweaty. So uh, I'm going to show you some of the big plays in part two that uh, the sort of circle around these tactics that I'll show you in part one. So this is part one. And uh, the very first thing that is uh, very, very uh, important in winning doubles matches is getting middle map control after wipes. So here I'm uh, waiting for my teammate to respawn. Uh, I'm playing with Genius here. And uh, he respawns and now I push these guys together with him. I get this guy primed. He comes up from behind and finishes the guy off while I have aggro. Now that we have a wipe, we push uh, as fast as we can to the middle of the map. What we're trying to do here is get mid-map control, read the radar, and then isolate players. They don't always spawn side by side, and they don't always, even if they do spawn side by side, they don't always rush the same areas at the same time when they do spawn together. So you want to try and isolate players and get in these 2v1s. So after we got a wipe, here we are, back in the middle of the map again. And we're looking, we're reading the radar, Gene gets a pick, now I know it's time to push. So we push together to the church and collapse on the last guy, get some team fires, it makes it so much easier to get wipes this way. Here's a good example of that, um, that strategy really paying off. You'll notice the scoreboard, we're down, we need to get a win here. So uh, we get the wipe here, I figure, hey, it's now or never, I gotta drop that Nova. There's 30 seconds left in the game, we still need a kill. So we push into the middle of the map after the wipe, we read the radar. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking, and as soon as we get pings, I call out right now to Gene and say, I've got a guy alone on the truck. I say, I've got him bodied. So Gene is just going to come right back. He's not going to challenge 1v1 on the other player. So I beat this guy out, and now it's 10 seconds left, so we just get to a nice defensible position and uh, force them to push to us. And uh, sure enough, we wrap up the, uh, the match with a win. So like I said, this is a really sweaty playlist. You're going to queue up against uh, some top tier players potentially. And, and I know that we have. I've matched up against a lot of people that I know. People from clans that compete in tournaments. Some friends of mine. So in that sense, I should really like that. That's, re that's really enjoyable for me. Uh, now another strategy that I'm going to talk about here is uh, alternating supers. So Gene just used his golden gun and I know that he's got orbs down in the bottom mid. So I'm just going to come up here, find a guy, isolate him, drop the super on him for uh, an easy super kill and then come right back to where his orbs are and pick them up and start charging my next super. That's actually really, really important. So make sure you're calling out your supers, letting your teammate know where your orbs go. That way they can go pick them up. If you already have a super up and your teammate uses theirs and creates some orbs, go ahead and don't feel shy about pushing with your super next, dropping it, getting some kills, creating some orbs, and then rotating back to where your teammate was when they got their super kill and picking their orbs up. Another really important thing in winning doubles matches is spawning together. If you die in an engagement, so let's say I, I run into two guys, I get them peppered and, and I prime a couple of them but I can't get any kills and I go down. I'm not going to go ahead and just mash that uh, respawn button. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the, what's called ghosting. It's just watching your orb. It's when you get that third person camera that you can rotate around when you're dead. And I'm going to watch the engagement breakdown. I'm going to keep calling stuff out to my teammate and uh, I'm going to give him the chance to get the wipe. And then that way if he does make a play and he gets the wipe, that means we can get an uh, additional 50 points for the revive because I didn't go ahead and respawn. If he dies, that's fine too. What we can do then is um, just spawn together. So I'll watch the engagement, he dies, we'll both respawn at the same time. And so we're more likely to get put uh, in the same spot when we respawn. So here I'm going to go, so I'm going to let Gene come in, finish the guy off, and then uh, pick me up. And uh, as he does, actually, what's going to happen here is he's actually baited in another guy because he thought he was in a 1v1. Now he's in a 1v2, uh, and we can take him out. Easy peasy. So that's a really big factor. Don't just mash that respawn button. That's not going to serve you well, honestly. You definitely want to wait it out, see who wins the engagement, and spawn up with your teammate if he loses, and give your teammate the opportunity to pick you up if he wins his battle. 
I've also found that special control is a big part of winning these matches as well. So a lot of times what we'll do is the only time that my teammate and I will actually split up around the map is when a wave of special spawns. So we'll try and use our supers and things like that to get kills around the time that super or er, super the special ammo is coming up. We'll use our supers then just to wipe guys, force them to look at respawn screens while we have the time to run the map separately and get all the boxes of special ammo and just be hoarders. Here I'm trying to push this special ammo and this guy decides it's a, a worthy time to drop his super but I actually get the win on him. Now we're going to start picking up special boxes. We've got one guy left here and Gene decides we really want special control so he's going to pop his super as well and uh, he's going to get a pick. I'm going to start coming over here but I realize they've already picked up that special. So I'm just going to double back and get this one here with Gene, get his orbs and then we'll keep challenging together. We had actually already gotten the special uh, at the bottom of the stairs in our initial spawn at the high spawn so that's actually three boxes that we picked up. We coordinate here, get some team fires going on. Gene gets this guy primed, and then I can just hit him with a quick body shot to clean up the kill. And now, what, basically what we're going to do is we're just going to keep rotating around the map, finding guys who are isolated, and uh, collapse on them. So Gene's going from the middle, and I'm coming around from this side, and we pinch a guy back here in the back spawn. So he's got to try and figure out who he's going to go for. I actually didn't know that he was primed, or, or else I probably wouldn't have dropped that Nova. But I had one up. I do want to start chaining supers, giving orbs to Gene. And uh, we're just going to piggyback off of each other's momentum here. And uh, you'll see this guy, I had his aggro. And that gives Gene the opportunity to push up on him. And then his aggro switches to Gene since Gene is closer to him. And then I can hit him from behind as he pulls a 180 to focus on Gene. So managing aggro is, is hugely important. Gene gets isolated here. I saw his dead body and I thought that was the enemy. So I threw a grenade at it. But uh, anyways, he tells me that this guy has a shotgun. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to challenge in a tight doorway. That sounds like a bad idea. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bait him back towards Gene. I see where Gene spawns, and I just bait him all the way back here. Now I'm primed, but Gene's got full health. This guy thinks, hey, I've got this guy in the ropes. So they're going to push up, but suddenly there's two people that he's against. I've got full health. He goes down quickly and easily because of it. So make sure you're calling out to your teammates, not just where an opponent is, but what they're using. Say he's on the stairs with a sniper. Okay, well, I'm not going to challenge the sniper the same way that I'm going to challenge a shotgunner. Those two things are different. So it's really important to call out not only the location of the enemies, but also what they're using. And that gave me the opportunity to back off of that shotgunner to know that wasn't a challenge I wanted to make. I was out of grenades, so I was just going to bait him back into my teammate after my teammate respawned, and then we were going to 2v1 him. And that leads into what ultimately ends, ultimately ends up in a 13 kill streak for me uh, as, we, as we win this game with all this momentum that we've got. So those are just the basic strategies that you're going to want to employ as you play the Devil's Playlist. I highly recommend you go in with somebody. If you can't, that's okay. You can solo queue. Just know that it's much more difficult. You're going to have to pay very close attention to what your teammate is doing and try and complement that. You're going to have to be even more intentional about that. So keep that in mind. And uh, as this video wraps up, uh, just, just know that I'm, I'm going to make a part two. As soon as this finishes uh, uploading, I'm going to start working on part two, and I'm going to show you some of the big plays we've had, some of them against some top tier competitors, uh, people that we know from competitive clans that compete in these tournaments and things of the sort. So stay tuned for that, guys. L let me know if these tactics work for you and how your doubles experience has been so far, if it's been as, uh, as sweaty as mine. But either way, we'll catch you in the crucible, guys.